Okay, so this was kind of good temporarily to get some information back to my office and online, some basics. But what I really wanted to do is get this uh, Magnum MagWeb. So this little guy will allow us to connect to the internet and hopefully track all kinds of cool stuff. I don't even really know what all I'm going to get out of this, but I'm hoping it'll keep track of like daily usage and how much power you're drawing and generating over the day and good statistics we can keep track of. So, so I'm going to do today is install this. So let's get started. Okay, so I got one panel off. I got to take off this other panel. Okay, so with my setup, I've got the two inverters and the RTR and the PT100s. So this guy, what I'm going to do is unplug the remote coming out of the master that goes into the RTR. I'm going to unplug that and plug it into the where it says inverter. And then this cable will go from here, the MagWeb, over to the RTR. So I'm just putting this in the middle. That's all. So I'm going to do that. So I don't know if I can hot swap this um, meter. So I'm going to go ahead and shut everything off. So I'm going to put all my switches back to the line. Put everything on the utility. It's pretty easy. Yikes. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to do the shutdown sequence over here. AC inputs off. All right. And the AC output, which will cut all this. Okay, because there's nothing coming out now. I think I should just turn everything off, right? Let's do it. Bam. Bam. Now the whole thing is off. I still have DC power to here, and that's it. Why are you still on? Huh? There you go. Okay, now I can take this out of here. All right, this is from the master inverter remote. I'm going to plug that into here. So I'm going to mount this little mag web like right up here. Because why not, right? mounted and now to hook this up again i'm going to take the remote wire from the master inverter runs through here comes out right here and we'll go right into my mag web and then this end and then here where it says to remote comes out actually got it wrapped up in here out of the way comes down and goes into the first slot p1 Okay, so that's hooked up. Now we got to do the network cable. This is my network. So I just got to drop this down in here. Okay, so my network cable comes down, you know, it comes over from about this is about 150 feet away is our router. And it comes down, drops in here, and plug it into the top of the MagWeb right there. All right, so now. We're all wired up. Uh, let's put this back together and turn it all on. There we go. Well, it remembered my total kilowatt hours. That's good. All right, let's go turn the house on. All right. Sun is really coming on strong today. I'm gonna have a good production. Let's take a look. Let's look directly into the sun. Don't tell mom. Look at that. Oh yeah. Nothing but blue skies today. So, it's 7.55 a.m. You can see the sun coming up in the backyard there. There's uh, a 
couple of angles. Some sun on the panels a little bit. Big sun today. Yeah, let's look at what we got here. Pushing 23 amps at 50 volts or 80%. Uh, 52 volts currently pulling 225 watts on one channel and 9 watts on the other, L2. This is the MagWeb data. 4,000 watts coming in off the panel. It's gone up pretty quick. So here's yesterday was cloudy and rainy. Didn't rain too much, but it was cloudy. And then we uh, sun went down and we went negative. And now we're just cranking. Lots of power coming in. Here you see the state of charge of the batteries up to 87% from 80 just an hour ago. And here you see the amps in and out of the battery. So it was fully charged yesterday afternoon and then went down and overnight and now it's quickly becoming charged back up. So let's take a look over here. Currently using about five or six hundred watts in the house, and we got a net 70 amps going into the battery. 87% charged. Okay, it's 921. We're at 89% charged. It's going up fast. Look at the power coming out of here. 4,400 watts at 9:20 a.m battery it's getting charged right up and we're only using about 300 watts and we get the 89 percent see how much we got 79 amps net going into the batteries nice so we'll charge them in keeping track of how many kilowatt hours per day that I've put into the system since I started. And I started kind of slow. I didn't want to, you know, go crazy. So I was just bringing the system up. I put four kilowatt hours a day for the first four days. And then I started adding a few appliances and circuits. Did a couple loads of laundry, you know, seeing how much I can bring it up. My most I've gotten to is 13 kilowatt hours. So most of the power is still going to waste more than, I'm not even using half of what this thing is generating. So we'll see where we go from there. Yesterday was cloudy, so I didn't do too much. All right, so that's uh, a little bit on how it's going so far. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.